Hi and welcome to this very brief video. Recently I've seen a lot of posts and comments making mention of getting a good amplitude reading from their time grapher but relating to bad traces and faults and asking for advice and assistance. And I always make a point of saying before you go ahead and believe what your time grapher tells you, check the amplitude visually. And this video is just an example to show you what I mean. And as you can see here, we've got a Seiko 7016A which has just recently arrived and will be getting a service. And while it runs and shows a good amplitude on the time grapher, you can see that that is not actually the case. There's a brief video clip on why you should not always take a time grapher reading as red. You see there that's demonstrating, apart from an awful trace on this just received watch, it's demonstrating an amplitude of 200 and odd degrees, which looks really good. But if you look at the balance, it's actually a very, very poor amplitude. I'll just do a slow motion of that. So here in the slow motion video, you can see that the amplitude is actually much, much less than it looks on the regular speed video. It's actually only about 90 degrees. And I believe this to be a, a drawback of the cheaper Weishi Chinese time graphers. While they're perfectly acceptable taking readings in the acceptable range and certainly sort of above 150 degrees, they tend to give erroneous readings at very, very low amplitudes and that is demonstrated here. So whenever you get a reading like that, it's always, always essential to visually check what you're getting. 